Hey, this is Brent with Vintage Statements, and today we've got an old, ugly dresser missing components and everything. It's been sitting in my garage for a long time, and today we're going to do something about it. So, follow along as we turn this piece of scrap wood and this ugly dresser into a cool little wine piece. All right, so the first step that we're going to do today is we're going to remove all the hardware. We're going to pull all the drawers out. The only drawer that we definitely have to keep that has a specific spot is the smaller one. So we know we're going to keep that one. But these all are the same drawer, so I'm going to pick the best out of three. Same way over here, pick the best out of it. And I'm only going to keep three drawers across the top. Everything else is getting removed. This is getting removed. All the hardware is getting removed and we'll go from there. Alright, so what we've done is we've removed the tracks now. Now what we're going to start doing is breaking out these pieces and everything in the back there so we have a clean box. As you can see, I have a hole at the bottom that I didn't anticipate so now I'm going to have to build bases for the sides here. So let's get started by breaking some more stuff up and then we can start getting this top off. Alright, we've got our pieces out. Now let's get this top off. We're going to try to take these pieces off, see what we're working with. Uh, again, we're trying not to damage this part, so we're not just going to hammer it off and beat it up. We're going to try to do it strategically. As George Bush would say. So let's get the top off of this thing. Strategery. Strategery. Alright, so we've got our piece cleaned up. Now we're going to start working on our uh, X's for our boxes for our wine. Now, we did some measurements really quick, found out the width, the depth, and the diagonals of it. So we're gonna start marking it out on this, and we're gonna cut at 14 inches, I believe, uh, by 27, and we'll do that with our table saw, and we'll get four of those set up, and then we can start rock and roll to the next step. So now what we're going to do is we went halfway in and halfway down and created our cut line. So when we create the X, it's, it's uh, equal on both sides. So we just got to cut this out four times and see how it turns out. They're just sitting in here, just kind of hanging out, but that's going to be kind of the look we're looking for. Now what we got to do is figure out how to make some base here out of some scrap wood. So, let's begin on that. Alright, so we put everything in. We've got our uh, bases put in. What we did is we just sawed off a whole bunch of inch and a half uh, by about a fourth inch pieces for our base here. Give it a nice rustic look. We're going to sand everything down. Even our uh, wine things we're going to sand, uh, sand down. These will get stained. This is going to get painted. So we're just going to start sanding like every day. No one around to watch me sand. So let's begin.
we have our dark walnut stain. We got a rag and, well, we can start staining our wine racks. got our piece ready to paint. We're going to start with the drawers and then we'll work the frame. The black color that we're using is called limousine leather. So that's a pretty cool name. So let's begin. So we've got the base pretty much done. Now we can start working on top. So we've got three two by six pieces and we've got two two by four scrap pieces that we'll use as our uh, subframe. So we're gonna cut these at 61 inches. So just over five feet, our piece is five feet. So we've got these marked. We've got these marked at 14 and a half inches. We're just gonna cut them on the uh, sliding compound miter saw. our three boards together and used our subframe pieces to, to screw it all together. Now what we can do is start sanding it down. We're going to use 100 grit paper. <laughs> dark walnut stain. We've got two rags, one to dry and one wet for applying. We'll do the bottom first. We'll work our ring around and we'll get the top done. take this from uh, just a dresser hanging out in our garage to now it is a beautiful wine cabinet um, repurposed top with new wood um, to remove the drawers and now they are room for you guys know my favorite wine um, so I think it turned out awesome great storage great for any house I'm super excited for this one uh, I think if it matched our house it wouldn't be going anywhere so I'll just take this bottle of wine and this glass and I'll just be right over here enjoying it. Thanks so much. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Let us know what you think.